In season one, episode four of Fallout, we see Lucy McLean. Dad, stop it, I mean it. No, not that one, this one. Okie dokie. We see Lucy really show her humanity here towards the ghoul who has basically treated her like crap, used her as bait, made her walk around with her hands bound, giving her no water, made her drink this irradiated water, and to top it all off, if he hadn't done enough already, cuts her finger off. In all fairness, she did bite his finger off, but he did have that coming. So after all this torture that the ghoul has put her through, is there a lesson on how Lucy treats him at the end of the episode? And would you do the same? Check it out. So the ghoul is essentially about to lose his life and turn into a hideous creature. One of these. And Lucy, who has only barely survived her ordeal at the Super Duper Mart, a situation she was put in once again by the ghoul, has come out with the drugs needed to keep the ghoul alive. Now, previously in this episode, when the ghoul made her drink from the irradiated water, Lucy McLean asked, what are you? To which the ghoul responded, Oh, I'm you, sweetie. You just give it a little time. And Lucy harkens back to this when she is facing the ghoul at the end of the episode. She gives him the drugs that he needs to survive. She could have left him to die, or turn, whatever you want to call it. But she gives him those drugs and she says, I may end up looking like you, but I will never be like you. Now, some would say that's a stupid move and she should have just let him die. And you would not blame her for doing so with everything he had put her through. But this really shows her character and what she learned from being down in the vault, from growing up in the vault. And you would have to say that her human nature prevailed here. She didn't let the ghoul get on top of her or necessarily beat her spirit down, but she stayed true to her beliefs and she saved him. Was it a good idea to do that? Well, in the final episode of the series, the two kind of team up again as they are once again on the hunt for Lucy's father. And the ghoul, he wants to find his family, his wife and his daughter. So most people in this situation, I imagine, would have just let the ghoul go, let him die, let him turn, but not Lucy McLean, so an interesting moment. And so, I've watched all eight episodes, it was a pretty cool series. As Todd Howard said, of course, he's the man behind Bethesda Games, he said it's very authentic to the game, and it is. High production values, very well made. You're not always gonna get everything you want. There'll be certain things you wanna see, in certain ways you may want things to go, but on the whole, they did a very awesome, thorough job, you would have to say. And they have set it up well for season two also. Good acting, good performances, and they did a really good job in adapting the game into this TV series. Something which studios can often get wrong, well, they got it pretty darn right here. Thanks guys for tuning in, and we'll look forward to season two of Fallout.